Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Legacy Blitzwing. And this decal set includes six decal sheets on a combination of foil and vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Blitzwing, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Blitzwing looks really good and spot on to his animation model. Taking a closer look at the figure, he does have a red square right there on his helmet crest, red goggles, silver face, and of course a yellow helmet, some yellow here for the chest, and a silver outline Decepticon logo right there in the middle. He does have silver and red pecs. Silver there for the ab area, silver for the hip skirts, silver for the thighs, and silver for his tail fin feet. You can also see some yellow there on the inside of his legs. Also Decepticon insignias on the outside of his legs. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of paint applications, a little bit of black right up here and purple along the shoulders, but he has tons of sculpted details and he looks really good but I cannot wait to see what Toy Hacks can do for it. So there you go guys, one final look at Blitzwing in robot mode before. And after. Blitzwing gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his robot mode, and what an enhancement do they make? Taking a closer look at the figure, we'll start here with the head. He gets a brand new red chrome visor that just looks spectacular. This is actually in three pieces. You have a front and two sides, but once you get those on, that looks so good. He also gets a new red chrome piece here for the chest, new yellow decals here on either side, little decals right here that go above the silver on his pecs, new decals here for the chest, a new Decepticon insignia, red right there for his belt buckle. Moving on to the forearms, you get tan, decal right there with rivets and decal right above the wrist. Up here on the shoulders he gets missile pod decals or you do have the option of just vents. I felt like this is Blitzwing. He needs missile pods. He also has missile pods now up on his backpack. And speaking of the backpack you got new decals back here that accentuate the wings a lot better. You got some gray and red on this main section and his small wing and a purple decal right there. Side of the arm is another tan decal with the rivets, a number three, and that's actually on both biceps, but word of warning on this, this three is on a clear background, but the clear background is way too big for this section. I actually had to trim off the clear background to apply that. They may have fixed that since uh, my purchase, but just be wary of that. Blitzwing also gets hip mounted miniguns, which is really cool. Uh, moving on down to the legs, nothing really for the leg area except for the new decals here on the shins. There are decals for the feet and right there underneath, but that's more for the thrusters. So yeah, Blitzwing gets a hell of an upgrade thanks to Toy Hacks and he looks so good now. So there's Blitzwing in robot mode after. In tank mode, straight out of the packaging, Blitzwing still doesn't look that bad, though he does look a little weird with his G1 throwbacks here, especially with the protrusion sticking out from the front. I wish they could have designed that so it could push in a little bit, maybe even out with the front of the tank, but oh well. And then he's got the thrusters there on the back. Aside from that, love the molded details on the tank. It looks so good with the 
treads and the vents, the details up here with the grenade launchers, the hatch, there's a purple Decepticon logo there on top. Front of the tank, you can make out Blitzwing's head right there, but it just looks like a yellow section. Then you've got the silver and red details from Blitzwing's chest right there on the front. And really, that's about it. Not a lot, not a lot of collar, but lots of great molded detail. So there you go, guys. There's Blitzwing in tank mode before and after. Blitzwing's tank mode gets quite a few new details thanks to toy hacks. Taking a closer look at the tank, starting here at the front, you can see he does have new headlights. There's a blue and a yellow. There is new silver decals here on the battering ram that cover up the red translucent plastic. And of course you see the decals from Robot Mode's chest. Come on down, Auto Brat is right there on the front of the tank and there are options for that. That is originally shown on the Toy Hex website to go up here on the turret, but there's enough room on the tank to really put pretty much all the options on here. You can see Death to Traitors on top of the turret. You've got the Come On Down Auto Brat. There's some extra decals that I'll show off here in a moment. So yeah, there's plenty of room for everything. Moving along the side of the vehicle, he's got a red arrow on the front, tan and red decal right there, a decal right there, new decals for the vents that look really good, love the metallic look. You got a purple and red decal there, and a nice throwback to his animated character, tell me what's on your mind. On the back of the vehicle, he does have taillights now and new decals for the thrusters. And you really wanna pay attention to those because you wanna make sure you match up the right decal to the right molded section of the thruster. Look on Toy Hacks' website, they'll show you how to do that correctly. Here on top, new decals that cover the vents. And on top of the turret, we've got a plate with 03 on it. Some hash marks showing how many Autobots Blitzwing has taken out. A silver panel with a Decepticon logo. Another silver panel right here, Death to All Traders. And purple and red decal that wraps around the barrel. Now even Blitzwing's oven mitts of mayhem get decals right here that makes them concussion missile launcher systems. So. If you choose, you can attach these to Blitzwing. Just like so, and it falls off. I hate these things personally, but there's an option there for you. So there you go, guys. Blitzwing in tank mode after. And now we come to everyone's favorite mode. Blitzwing's jet mode straight out of the packaging really suffers from its G1 aesthetics. I mean, it's big, it's blocky, and it doesn't look aerodynamic whatsoever, unless you look at it straight from the top. But still, it's not bad for what it is. I mean, it is a generation one throwback and triple changers do tend to suffer in one mode. Now, taking a closer look at the details, right here, he does have a silver nose cone, red canopy there's the yellow from the chest of robot mode silver right here here and there on the wings he does have yellow striping decepticon insignias on either side the silver tail fins and of course underneath is all of the tank just like all the other modes it's colorful but it just lacks some extra detail so there you go guys there is blitzwing in jet mode before and after. Toy Hacks must have really felt sorry for Blitzwing's jet mode because they really made this mode pop. Taking a closer look at the figure, starting here with the cockpit. Brand new chrome red decals all over with a new purple section right there that breaks it up. New chrome decal right there just behind the nose cone. New decals right here on either side of the cockpit with new yellow decals right there on the side of this chrome piece that carries over from robot mode so it really elongates the whole cockpit new red decal right there 
and new yellow decals along the wings that kind of give it a stripe look with the little black triangles. Moving on down, we've got new gray decals here on these sections and down here on the wings with some added new Decepticon insignias. New decals right there. Red decals along the wings here and here. And on the tail fins, new red and silver decals with an optional triple on it. I put that on there, I just like the way that looks. And of course, you've got the thrusters once again with the decals in the center. You also see new decals here underneath and missile pods right there. You can never have enough missile pods because there are other missile pods right there. Also, we've got little red decals on either side of the jet and I just think this looks awesome. Toy Hacks, you did a great job on Blitzwing's jet mode. So there you go guys, Blitzwing in jet mode after. Toy Hacks definitely scored a touchdown with their decal set for Legacy Blitzwing. And what I really like about it, every mode benefited greatly from this decal set. There was not one mode that got more than the other. I think the details were evenly distributed over robot mode, tank mode, and jet mode. The figure looks fantastic now, so huge kudos to the design team at Toy Hacks. If you have a Legacy Blitzwing, this decal set is a must have. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!